Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Married at First Sight All-Star panel. Glenn from Jack and Glenn. Jackie. Jackie. And we have the one and only Miss Talisa Ray with us today. August the Love Story will be coming a little bit later. Talisa, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing, doing wonderful. Good. Wonderful. Ready to talk Jackie about Jackie looks so pretty. She's showing you up over there. I just want you to know. <laughs> I mean, she you. always does a little extra today, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> Hey, Thank she's, you. hey, that's my better half. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you good on this, on this beautiful Sunday. Man, there's a lot to talk about, man. We're gonna, there's, there's a lot to talk about from this past episode of Married at First Sight. There's a lot of things that transpired. I mean, we got from vibrating panties to pump proms to, to Moody Miguel to people who are just all over the place, right? Couples who you thought was going was doing well, wasn't going well. And, and we got Justin who finally got himself a piece. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Uh, and, 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 you know, so we're... We're gonna start with a uh, with the couple who kind of started things off this week. I'm gonna start with Mitch and Kristen. Start with Mitch and Kristen because we saw Mitch and Kristen having a little conversation in the kitchen. Uh, you know, uh, Talisa, we start with you. Your thoughts on Mitch and Kristen from this past episode in Poolgate? <laughs> in Poolgate, I actually, you know, I actually commend them on the way that they um, have conversations and work through the uh, work things out. Um, and how honest and open that they are. So I, I do commend them on that. And that's probably the one reason I think that they could possibly work, even though Mitch is Mitch. Uh, I feel like they have real honest conversations about how things make them feel. Um, and that whole like attraction thing is dead. Ma'am, it's, not, it's never going to be dead. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's never going to be dead. He can affirm you a million times, but I feel like you're always going to remember the fact that your husband was not initially attracted to you. Okay, can somebody else take over really, really quickly? Yeah, yeah, got you. yeah which, which, not, which was which was a joke anyway, because as I think we mentioned last week, you know, Mitch was like, um, you know, it's not the makeup issue because he liked the mom and she was all made up, right? Mm -hmm. So if the mom was all made up and he thought that was his wife, what is it when it comes to Christian? Is it really a makeup issue? Is it really an attraction? Is he just not attracted to her personality? Do she does she do too much? I mean, what what really is that he's not attracted to? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's it's kind of like Brett and Ryan. It's just like he might like a a more olive complexion lady, darker hair. Maybe that's what it is. Because yeah, I, it's not. It ain't the makeup. Because the mother was fully done up, and he was like, "Is that my wife?" All excited. Is that my wife? But I'm like Talisa, I do commend them for being able to talk about it. They took the time going up to the retreat. Cause we're gonna take this time in the car. It's about an hour drive. We're gonna talk about it. And they talked it through. And I agree, the attraction thing is not dead. Even though they shot the arrow through it, I think it, it won't be a major issue. Like they're gonna not make it a point. You know what I mean? But it's still gonna, and um, along those lines, I mean, somebody tried to make it an issue, tried to bring it up. Oh, messy Alexis. We'll get to her some more later. But she tried to, oh, oh, you attract to your wife now, Mitch? And Mitch was like, hey, that's dead. We shot the bow and arrow at that. We ain't talking about that. He shot her down quick. But you see how they talked about it in the house without Alexis or anyone else being present. Mm -hmm. That was that was, was going to take place in the first place if, there was, if Alexis had never brought it up at the table. Right. If she had never brought it up, they were going to have a conversation in their own home we might have signed up we might have seen the black and white cameras whatever it case may be but they would still have had that conversation and it would have been different uh it wouldn't have been a blow up it wouldn't have been a pool gate it would have been something different but because of the way that he felt blindsided and she felt empowered it turned into a big thing um and that's why it blew up not that it wasn't there but it wouldn't have blown up in the home because there wasn't there wasn't an audience so that's where that's what I feel on the Mitch and Kristen situation. But it's good that they was able to resolve some of the things and get some things done. I mean, everybody else was getting some. I don't think Mitch got anything at, at, at the retreat house. Everybody else was getting some. I still don't think she's giving him the goodies yet. Nah. He's not in that good graces. He's not back there yet. But no, nah, she said they're not there. Yeah, they're not there yet. So that's all on Mitch and Kristen. You, anyone, anything else you want to add to Lisa? No, things. actually, I don't. Um, I was listening, and I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, like I told you, yeah. I've got some issues that I have to take care of, so I might pop out again because it's still not fixed. However, yeah. um, I agree with everything you said. So, what everything you said, did all. 
Absolutely. So I don't know. <laughs> now, to answer your question, to answer your question, Mona, I do not think Mitch and Kristen will stay married. I think she really, I think Mitch is going to say no. I think she will stay married to Mitch. Mm. I don't think Mitch is 100% happy. I think, again, Kristen, like, Kristen likes the thought of marriage. Mm -hmm. she been engaged before. It didn't work out. She went on her own honeymoon. If she went on her own honeymoon by herself, she can, she'll probably try to stay in this marriage by herself, too. I don't know. I, don't, I think based on her superlative, <laughs> the person that had the most divorces, I think she would, she would say no. I think she would say no. She would get divorced because she don't care nothing about it at this point. <laughs> I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of feeling like they both are going to say yes. They're going to say yes. Mm. Like everybody else, a couple months down the line, it didn't work out. You know, we need to, what did she say in the kitchen with the ladies? We need, we need to give it more time and see. Like it's not enough time. Is that what she said when she was standing there with the, in the kitchen, something to that effect? So I kind of feel like she might say yes and he might say yes too because ain't nobody going to put up with Mitch, okay? Nobody is going to deal with none of this mess except for seems like her and she seems to be doing like managing it kind of well. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. So we'll have to see. When it's time, we'll have to do that poll we did last year. Right. We uh, who gonna say yes and no? We'll have to do that again. Yeah, I, I flop. I flop every week. I think I flop yeah, on them. Me too. I, I, think, I think I flop every week on them. <laughs> so, like last week was no. This week, like maybe you know, next week maybe I don't know. Wait till the end. And I try to stay. I stay away from spoilers and all that other stuff. So I'm giving, giving my my own honest opinion. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just it's it's weird with them. Yeah, they they up in the air. It's weird. Uh, but let's uh let's move on to um. The, the, the sex couple that turned out to be. I mean, Stasha and Nate are doing their... Uh, oh, that's sex. That's sex. No, 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 no. We're going we, we're gonna to save Alexis and Justin for a little bit later because that's going to be a whole bunch because it's, it's, yeah. That sex couple who like sex toys and panties and all those other Stasha and Nate hooking. I mean, they pack more toys and everything else than a little bit. I'm not mad at them because they try to they're building their relationship up. They're having smoothness, smoothness in their relationship. And Stasha and Nate, they're young. They do what they want. They do. They find they exploring each other, which is good, you know. Except for the fact that he don't know where the stop buttons at, but that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> Talisa, your thoughts on Stasha and Nate? I'm excited for them. I'm so excited for them. Like, I, I'm glad that they're open to like spicing up their relationship. And I know that it's early and they're getting, they're just getting to know each other. So there should be some kind of passion. But the fact that they are open to the toys, the swings, the vibrator, the, um, and, and Stasha is not as uptight as she was when we first started. She wasn't as, um, she's not as cold as she was. I'm actually um, rooting for them because, yes, I listen, I'm for it. Count me all in for the excitement, the turn on. I mean, they seem right now to be the most, the most stable, the most happiest in their relationship. Um, the whole I love you thing, I'm so glad that they didn't talk about that and all of that again and how he feel and he not expressing this stuff. Like, I'm tired of hearing about that. So I'm glad that they gave us something. Actually, honestly, for me, it was refreshing. And I feel like maybe people who are having issues in their relationship with intimacy, sexual intimacy, we'll see this and be like, well, maybe we should take a, a visit to the store. Maybe we could spice up our, our relationship. And for me, I just feel like I'm excited that they're open. What else are they open to? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Listen, y'all listen, listen. Anyway, I'm excited for them. I'm excited for them. I'm happy for them. I'm happy. Nate was happy, but you write about that button when she said, it's swollen. I said, girl, it show probably is because they said so you could hear the vibrating of the noise through the TV. The whole table was probably shaking. If you think about it, like, and then he, did he have it on the highest setting? Them things have multiple settings. Right. Did you have it on the highest setting? That, though, too, tell you that, you know, like, he might be just a little bit immature. You know, a mature man would know, you know, you got to warm me up a little bit. Don't go for the, don't go for the gusto all at the top. Like, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. She was, she expressed it was too much, but yeah, listen, they better, they better do, they better do it. That's how I feel about them. So I ain't got nothing else on them. They ain't had nothing. That was the most exciting thing right. for me, for them, right? So. It was, that was the most exciting thing for them. I and mean, you know, that they were, 
you know, I like the fact they was trying to help Miguel and Lindy out. I thought that was pretty neat there that, you know, one thing about Nate, he didn't read most guys, he didn't read instructions. <laughs> he didn't read the he didn't read the he didn't read but it. he said we need to read them. Uh, he told somebody else to read the instructions. Like, really? Yeah, but I like that like they're calming down. I still think there's an issue there with control. She's trying to relinquish a little bit. And in this area, I think in the sex area, she can relinquish control to him because giving him the, the remote control was kind of her way, as I looked at it, of giving him control. Mm -hmm. And so he was able to control some things. So you can see where she's taking the advice of some of the experts and things that was given to her earlier. But I still think when it comes to the money situation, when it comes to the home situation, when it comes to the job, major issues or major concerns, that she gonna be trying, she's going to try to make the decisions instead of them making decisions together. I think I don't that's disagree with you with that. I think okay. that she's gonna really try that she's really gonna try to to, to uh collaborate, cooperate together with him. I really feel mm -hmm. that in my spirit. Like she's gonna try. Like I wanna be married, I don't wanna stop. I feel like she's gonna be like, I'm not giving you you do have to do the posting up and everything, but I want us to make decisions together as a family unit. I think mm -hmm. she wants that family unit. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Right there, Glenn. You know, I love you and everything, but oh, it's cool. <laughs> it's I with cool. Talisa. I think I think she will too. I think she's she wants to do, and I don't want to be stereotypical, but you know what I'm saying. I think she want to do wifey. She want to be wifey and let him be husband. She want to do that, like traditional old fashioned. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, I agree. I think she wants to do traditional old that old fashioned kind of rules um you know and and but i'm here tap 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 because that don't make no sense and that's how <laughs> if we think about it traditional relationships that's how they work anyway the right. men be thinking they control but the women be like tap 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 so baby listen like so i mean i'm making a um, bedroom deals huh <laughs> listen maybe that's why she that's why she got that excitement so that she could make them bedroom deals you in control but i i'm and I'm whispering in your ear right in the right moment. So everything I say sounds real good to you and sweet. But I feel like she'll collaborate. I really do. I really, I'm, I'm really rooting for her. I'm really rooting. Mm -hmm. for her. And, I, and I think it's because like she really takes, like Alexis tried to say it like I'm dominant in my everyday life. And so in the bedroom, I think Stasha really knows how to, I don't want to say turn the boss lady off, but like, you know, when she comes home, like I'm a boss lady outside the home. And I still am at home, but I'm a I let you, I'ma let you be the man. Cause like she, I think she said it and we've talked about it before. Like she can do everything by herself. Like, what do I need a man for? She needs a man for that kind of thing, you know, to kind of mellow her out and to let let him lead the way. And you know, yeah, I think, yeah, she's gonna be good. And, tell him that, and she's gonna be good until he messed something up. And and as men, he's gonna he's gonna make a mistake in something. He's gonna make a mistake in an area, in their relationship. He's gonna make an error, mistake. Maybe day trading doesn't work out like he think it is, and it goes awry. His entrepreneur skills, his life an entrepreneur. Sometimes you up, sometimes you down. There's something that may not go may go awry, and will she back him, be there for him, comfort him, and love him? And when something goes wrong, yes. And when she take go there and will try to take charge of the situation that he's he's messed up or he failed in, you know. So those type of things are just something that I'm looking at. Maybe okay, she's trying to relinquish control, and she will relinquish control until Nate does something that she may not like. Ooh, I don't know. I don't and know. and you're right, Sharon. She does want that baby. The only way you can get a baby is by sexing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay, the legitimate, the, I can say legitimate way, the natural way. You can adopt. I don't want to mess with nobody who's adopting out there. Right, right, right. But, but the way that she wants to have a baby is she wants to be able to deliver a baby or be, be pregnant. So the only way that you can do that, well, that's not the only way people can pay for it, too. I'm going to stop right now. Yeah, we understand. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stop right just digging. I'm just digging, my, digging myself home because people pay for it these days, too, and she got no money to do so. But she, I think she wants to do so. But I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, man. But, but no, nah, Stasha and Nate, was, it was good to see. Uh, if you didn't watch the after party or whatnot, Stasha really won the majority of the awards that was there. They was voted most popular couple. Yeah. And they, and they are the most popular couple. I think if you ask people who watch the show on a regular basis, which couple do you like? Um, which couple do you think will make it? Stasha and Nate. Stasha and Nate is 
the most popular couple. That's there. <laughs> Not a swing baby. They don't want a swing baby. <laughs> nah, she, no, 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 no swing, no swing babies here. No, she says Stasha wants a swing baby. Oh. Oh, that's right. Boy, When you say swing with those two, I'm Read thinking the swing. I'm thinking swing some other Read type. The of... Oh, the baby didn't conceive it. I understand. I got it. I'm good now. <laughs> y'all can give me a moment. My, my football team lost today, and I'm still hurting a little bit. So y'all help me out. <laughs> so, um, so, oh, but no. Nah. So Stasha Nate's doing Thank fine. You. Um, we, we're good on Stasha Nate. Nothing really major for them. No issue. No no major problem. No major issues. Uh, but here we go. While we're on sex, let's stay there. Alexis finally gives my man Justin some booty, and she was as Tommy would say, Justin GTD got the draws. He got the he got the draws. He got the draws. He got the draws, and she was not happy. But she's trying to convince him. That was the best thing since sliced bread. So we we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it here. Tilly, I start with you about the uh, sexing of just with Justin and Alexis. And D, my team is the Washington Commanders, and I think our season is over. <laughs> I'm just. Um, I feel like the more I watch Alexis and the more she talks, the more um, I pull away from her. Let me say that. Because I don't know her not to like her, but the more I disconnect from her, the more I, the more the the I want to root for her, but it's just so many things about her that we caught early that are just like screaming loud for me, and her getting that messy award was very much so appropriate. I also feel like, like I told you guys last week, I feel like she's manipulative. She flip flop, flip flop. Hi Tommy, flip flop, flip flop. You know. Um, when things are going great, you know, she's good. And then if it's not going great, then she tells him. And then the moment he says, I don't like it or this isn't doesn't isn't in alignment or whatever he just however he decides to say it, crying or whatever, then she'll, you know, oh baby. So I feel like her gaslighting him is what it's happening with this sex. Um, they went on and, and sealed the deal, but she did not enjoy herself is what what the roundabout way of what, what she said is that to the ladies not even to her her um her husband so i do get one thing she said that was true that first time can be awkward but that's when the you you don't have the connection and you really are passionate because you work around it when those things happen and you really kind of you kind of take a deep breath you kind of work around it but i feel like they just did it to do it. He didn't, but she did, like to get it out the way to see, well, let me see if this is the thing that's gonna hold me to him. And so um, just the way she low key like dissed him, you know what I mean? Like it was a, it was a, in front of the girls, like a low key diss, like how do you tell your man that it wasn't good? Ma'am, what you do if you, if, if you, if there were parts of it that you like, then you share the things that you like. You you should be having sex conversations anyway. And in the process, maybe not the first time, but the second time, you start to, to, to give a little direction. Him too. Like, and then for her to be like, it didn't last long. But I thought a moment ago they had said it lasted all night. Which which one is it? It didn't last long or did it last all night, Justin? Let, let me know. Did you I mean, you know, and lasting all night does not necessarily mean he was up all night. You know what I mean? Like, what is it that she really wants? Like, what does she, I, she needs to just stop playing these games. She just be on, I think she just on the TV to be on the TV at this particular point. I think that she's going to say no. If y'all want to know, I think that she's going to say no and he's going to say yes. Um, and he said that he hadn't been giving his all the entire eight weeks. Well, what, was, what you been doing, Justin? Like, cause this is it. This is it. You want to be this woman's husband and, this is it, but I also feel like she hasn't been giving her all the whole eight weeks either, where she said she was genuine and giving her all. I feel like, again, she's lying. Um, so I don't know. I just, I'm, 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 I'm more and more each week. I'm not an Alexis fan. I'm not actually just an Alexis combination fan. Maybe separately they would be okay for me, but. 
probably Alexis would never just because of her energy and the way she talks about her husband and like, okay, I'm going to tell you one of my coworkers used to be my work husband used to tell me all the time when I was married, he said, um, I learned a lesson that whenever you talk about your spouse to other people, you only share, share only the good things. Cause when they get, when they meet them, that's all they're going to know versus, um, sharing all those bad, the negative things. And not only that, that sticks with you. You share the negative things with your spouse. And so it was a little more than that, but I feel like she needs a lesson in, in knowing when enough is enough. Like when it just, like, I'm not going to share all of these details about my sex life and that my husband isn't pleasing me. So I don't know. I don't know. I, again, like I said, I'm becoming less and less, less and less of a fan. So if you feel differently, please, change my mind okay let me see it in a different light if you feel differently because i just really sometimes get on this this little soapbox and be like nope i ain't gonna like you again it's too late it's too late but i'm open to changing my mind but she she talks too much tell it um so he celibate he celibate he celibate we not having sex uh what was it he said on after she said on after party about his performance something she said something mm -hmm. right oh, yeah she said he, he wouldn't have problems kind of insist yeah that's what i'm getting it up there it is yeah right is. So, and then you know well he and then you you say that he's been celibate for a year and a half right and so he he doesn't have the stamina but uh, he was excited like he, you're a, a at a very voluptuous very attractive very shapely woman somebody that's probably outside of his league normally he is going to be excited a year and a half Ma'am, give him a little bit of grace, right? You give him a little bit of grace. You said it yourself, but you're not giving him any grace in that area. Do it again. He might, you might be having your eyes rolling in the back of your head. Maybe you need to get you some vibrating panties. You talking about some, you don't use no vibrators. Listen, I, they were trying to help you. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. The blood was flowing for Justin. The blood was flowing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Tommy, Tom, yeah, the, blood, the blood was flowing early. Uh, Tommy, your thoughts on Justin and Alexis, man? Welcome. You came in the right conversation, my brother. We, we, we were holding off just for you, uh, Justin and Alexis. Your thoughts on Justin and Alexis and this whole sex situation? Um, can y'all hear me? Okay. Uh, so first off, Justin did GTD. <laughs> Good for him. Good. I for said him. it. I said as Tommy would say. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, GTD. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that was a sympathy uh, smash. That Alex Alexis just was like, okay, let's just get this out the way. Um, I don't feel like she. It is just weird them talking about it. You know, it's just like how she talked about it and his representation of it were two totally different things. Like he was like, this has been the best thing since sliced bread. She was like, oh, I could have been better. You know, it was mediocre at best. Um, like Talisa was saying, it is a conversation that you can have, you know, when it when you're talking about sex, because it's like, OK, yeah, it may not have been good the first time, but hey, that's a learned behavior. Like every person that you have sex with likes something different. So learn those likes. That's the thing about being married. It's like you get to explore and learn what your spouse likes. So learn that, you know, um, and talk to each other. Be open to talk to each other about it. And I, I feel like her not talking to him about it being mediocre or, you know, wanting better. I think it harms them if they were going to go past um, decision day because now it's another like I guess another knock at him you know first is her dog bit you know or his dog bit her then it's he flies kites now it's his sex is bad you know so it's it's all of these things piling up that she's not talking to him about and for him it's like Oh, this is best. We're doing great. I still feel some type of way because she said X, Y, and Z about me. But, you know, I finally, you know, we finally had sex. I don't think their relationship has changed or gotten better because of it. And, you know, some people think that's what happens. But um, 
I, their energy is just, you know, she was trying to say that his energy was off, but I feel like he was like, he's, his change was from when she was like, I don't want to be, or I don't feel like I'm ready to be married to Justin. That was when his change came and like, you know, them having sex. Yeah, it's exciting for him, but you know, I mean, it still doesn't change the fact of what she said, you know, and I don't feel like she's really understanding or seeing the things that she's doing wrong. And of course he doesn't know how to have that conversation with her just because I mean, it's Justin's he's, he's enamored by the fact that they had sex, I guess, you know, I don't really know. Um, I kind of wish they wouldn't have had sex to be honest. Right. Yeah. It complicates things. Yeah. Um, yeah, after she was like, it's not good, and he was like, it's amazing. I was like, yeah, that's a conflict that they uh they just gonna have to figure out, you know. I don't think they're gonna go past decision day though. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> I mean, so I'm gonna ask you guys this. What did you guys think before we get into it? What did you think about her constantly? If you if you listen to the what she was saying throughout the episode, she constantly tried to reaffirm, like, hey, oh, you got that booty go, right? Uh, like, oh, it was good, right? Like, I, I threw it on you, right? She kept trying to, she kept trying to pump it up and make it seem like it was that she really, it was the best that he ever had. And so, to me, who are you? I'm looking at it like, who are you trying to convince? You trying to convince him <laughs> or yourself? Or yourself? Uh-huh. Who, uh huh. So, who, who, uh, who she's trying to convince here? Because if you notice, she got kept talking about it, you know, and, and talking about it and throwing shots at the same time. Who are you trying to convince here? Was it was was it what you thought it would be? Were you giving it too much? You know, so I'm like, what you guys think? That's what that sympathy thing was. Yeah, that's why I say it was sympathy because it's just like, yeah, when some, when a person like, I don't talk about my sex life. I I have two kids, so obviously I'm doing something, you know. So I don't ask if it's good, and you know, it's a conversation that we have. But it's like, yeah, she. Like, yeah, I put it on you, didn't it? Right. Like, okay, it is what it is on that. But she's just trying to get that confirmation because she did it out of, okay, let's just go ahead and do it. You know, I don't think she did it out of, oh, I really wanted it. Because who, like, the whole domination thing, right? I want to be dominated. You have to explain more than just I want to be dominated. Do you want him to initiate it? How do you, you know, he even asked you to initiate it. It's like, like he asked for instructions on how to initiate or dominate you. So it's, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a, she's looking for that confirmation because she don't want to, she know it was trash to her. She knows it was good to him, but she wants the confirmation because it's like, I just did it because, you know, it was a Tuesday and there's nothing else for us to do you know, type of deal. So listen, that's my thought. Listen, I had to. It's hurt. It's hurting my spirit. It's hurting my spirit. Listen. So I will just keep it a band. I was being really, really nice. She does require affirming. It seems like, but let's be honest. If you've ever had bad sex, it just ain't one person who's had the bad sex. That's how come she kept saying, do you, did you, uh the glow whatever because it was bad to him too evidently he did not enjoy himself maybe that's why it lasted all night maybe he didn't do maybe he did the first time because he was excited and then maybe it lasted all night because he didn't enjoy himself like i i don't know if i like her or not i'm sorry it just really bothers me um so that's how i feel i feel like he she come out it wasn't good then it, probably wasn't good to him either and that's why he wasn't as excited and hyping you up the way he thought or the way she thought that he should there we go also tommy you made a very good point because sex is 80 percent for me yes you did sex to me is 80 percent mental and 20 percent act action right um and when she said that i don't think i'm ready to be married to justin he kind of checked out. You are absolutely right. So maybe it wasn't good because he isn't connected like he was when y'all were on the honeymoon. If y'all had, had it on the honeymoon, y'all both be over the moon excited about one one another, like Lindy and Miguel, semi sort of maybe. But 
Uh, I'm just saying that if you thought it was bad nine times out of ten, he didn't think it was his the best um, either. It wasn't his best experience either. You, it, it's on you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's speaking from the man's perspective part of the sex uh if he ended it it was it's decent to me like i like bad sex to me is it stinks or you know i don't finish but if he if i finish i'm good to go i, I <laughs> so listen listen so you ain't telling me you telling me you ain't never just closed your eyes and just finished because you started something and you just I'm going to just finish. Let me just, because I need it for myself. Like, you ain't never in your in your pre-Artica days, okay? Because Artica is throwing, throwing it down. You got them two kids, okay? Listen. But um, pre-Artica, you ain't never been like, you too, Glenn. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. Hide your kids. Hide your kids. My mouth is open. <laughs> um, you ain't never in your single life. Because when I talk to my boys, sometimes, not my sons, but like my homeboys, they be like, yeah, sometimes you just you just power through it. Like you just power through. Like I, so I'm just, I'm not a man. Okay. And I'm not, I, as a woman, I'm, if I'm not enjoying myself, it would have been, okay, that's good. Okay. Bye. Her voice is gone. So she can't really talk. She sound like Glorilla. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I cut you off to Lisa? I'm sorry. Nah, she was asking oh. a question, but I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, no, that is no, like I've never just like pop because if if that was the case, I would stop. I would stop. I've stopped before, but it was only because of something happened. But it's like, nah, I I never had to to fake it. Like it was if I was like, cause the thing is, it's like first off, you have to mentally get over the fact that you're in it. You know, that's that's one part. It's like, oh, this is really happening, you know, because it's like, you know, the chase. And then, like, once you're in, you like, you're trying to finish. So I think that's what it was, you know. Now, I wasn't in their room and there, you know, so it's it's like I can't say if it was good to him or good, you know, bad for him and bad for her. But if he finished, all I got to say is if he finished, he had a pretty good night. See, I, I'm gonna go different. I think it's what she did to him that made it a good night for him. The things that was because he again he might have finished quickly, might not, but it was what was done and what was how, what made him finish. And why he said it was good and what he tried to do. I'm, I'm gonna steal some line from Big Job. He wanted to redeem his stroke. That's why I went all that night, right? It, it, the, the first stroke wasn't good, so he like, yo, can I go ahead and redeem my stroke? And she was like, all right, because she knew it was trash. All right, I give you a second opportunity because Talisa, you said it. She was trying to find something in this relationship to hang on to. So so she was like, okay, first stroke wasn't good. You know, it'd been a year and a half. She chalked that up to an excuse, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go ahead and try again. And, you know, and the ambiance of the, because the way it made it seem, y'all tell me I'm wrong if I'm in the wrong in the chat. It made it seem like they did it at the retreat or at the, at, on the, um, at the retreat house. That would have seemed like, I, I mean, I think they might've did it there beforehand or the night before, whatever case may be before the prom. And it made it seem like he was trying to, you know, make up for it. Um, I kind of got the feeling it was prom sex. I did. I kind of got the feeling that maybe it was prom sex. But I see Jackie shaking her head. No. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. I thought it was. I thought it like they had it there because I, I'm how to say it had to be good. Like enough. before they got dressed. Yeah, before they got dressed. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, okay. And you know, but it had to be good for him because he ran, he ran into Stasha. I'm not telling anybody if my sex is trash. If I don't have a good time, I'm not gonna go tell Stasha. Oh, we had sex. Cause they're gonna ask questions. This is a sex queen. She can like, oh, what y'all, you know, this, that, and the other. She, I'm not. If, if I, if I know it's bad, I'm not asking Stasha. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. So it had to be. So I'm thinking it had to be good for him because he told somebody else, and he was like, hey, you know what? It might. He let's be honest. He ain't had done in a year and a half. It's like you ain't eat. If you ain't eating no good food in a year and a half, and you finally get a plate, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. He ain't eating yet half. So whatever he got into, it was gonna be good for him. It may not have been good for like her. Tommy said, yeah. It, yeah, it, it may not be good for her. She knew it was trash. She knew she didn't give her best effort. No, I think she tried to say she was giving her best effort. Like, like 
let's put that that year and a half of celibacy into a bro I whipped it on you so you you had to finish early <laughs> I think she was trying to pump herself up like I whipped it on him yes I did and when he wasn't like you sure did she was like hold on now but that's what she was looking. That's what she was looking for. She was looking for the confirmation. I know that's what I'm she was saying. looking for the affirmation for him. Like, girl, who that was the best. And when he didn't give her that, is go back to Talisa and Tommy's point. Oh, uh, he checked out. He was just happy to get some. Because most guys, he whipped up. He like he should he should have asked all weekend. Like, yo, what's up? Can I, can I get some more. Got some more. I mean, he might have. Do, he, might, he might have done that, but he wasn't. He didn't give her no uh, uh, five star review. <laughs> Uh, two thumbs up. Exactly, Jackie. And then I don't think he's as excited about her anymore. Like, he doesn't seem as excited about her like he was no. even two episodes ago. He's over her after that whole, I don't want to be married to Justin. <laughs> I'm not ready. The words were, I'm not ready to be married. <laughs> Yo, she, cause she keep, who want to be with somebody to keep jabbing you? She, she mad as man because he couldn't put on her shoes. Ask her, hey, ask her, did he ever unhook a bra before? Like, you had trouble the night before. We wouldn't have known that. If you if you really wanted to give him some, why you ain't take the bra off and just come out to him just butt butterball? If he was it, it, it goes back to Talisa. If he was struggling and just taking the bra off, why do you give him instructions and directions of how to do it and help him out? Or like Tommy said, if it, if you want to be dominant, what does that mean? Make because you already said he's never been in a he uh, never been in a relationship that had to be the dominant person. So what does that mean? Give me some instruction because everybody don't have sex the same way. Everybody don't like the same thing. Everybody wants something different. So, because you made the last chick woo, woo and I climb the walls, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. This next person don't want to. Uh -huh. And the way Justin said it was like, we made love. He he used the love. He said, we didn't just have sex. We made love. And so he thinks he's making love. So, I mean, you took some time. And to me, when I hear somebody say they made love, they took their time. And they made sure the person they was with felt everything was pleasured and was pleased and all that but she said it was trash or again somebody was somebody lying did you make love or was it wham bam thank you ma'am <laughs> you know which one was it i think oh, yeah. um, we really have to look in the fact that justin had not had any for a year and a half like any piece of anything is good enough for him and it's not it's not gonna last long no you know we all know the feeling. <laughs> that thing start feeling good, it start warming up, and you know I'm done. You know <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Trust me, I know. It's all but it's, up. it's 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 like you know that's what it was. It was like yeah, it's that year and a half. He knocked the dust off of it. You know, <laughs> like I said. My man just wanted to redeem his stroke. He not the first, He got the first. He got the first one out the way, and he was like, "Yo, give me about five, six minutes. Recoup. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me go." And, me and go the on. fact that, and the fact that he was like five, six minutes. The fact that he was like, "I went all night." First off, that's a problem. You if know, you. good Which twenty, thirty minutes. You probably you. good to go. You know, an hour. You you like that's a that's strong. You know. You ain't go all night. But look, look at it like, just like what Glenn said. Okay, maybe his I went all night was not the actual penetration. It was the, I, I massaged her. I gave her a foot rub. I spent some time on this body part. I did that. I did. Maybe that was his last all night. Like, it was a whole production. But that's good sex. That's what I'm saying. That's good sex. Like you, you foot rub and back rub, and we uh -huh. taking our time. We're doing this. We're doing that. That's memorable sex, right? And that's, 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 that's why he had the, and that's why he had the review that he had, and she did, <laughs> right? Because she was stuck on the. But after all that, he was done in sixty seconds flat. <laughs> but but that but that goes with the conversation of what you like. Right. right, it goes with a conversation. Do you want the rough? Like we talked about last week, do you want the rough guy to pull your hair, throw you on the counter? You know, just go and bam, 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 bam. Or do you want the guy who's sensual? Because he's sensitive, y'all. So he's gonna be, he's gonna meet her, try to meet her needs because it's the first time. And you're but, right, him being sensitive and him being all Google eye for her, he probably was sensual, and she don't really like him, and so she wanted the bam, 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 as you would say. 
But I mean, all of it is valid. Okay. When is what? What are we? When? Are, what are we talking about? When are we talking about? Because all of it is is valid. Yeah. Right? But you got. But like y'all said, she has to uh, articulate that. She has yeah. to be able to say, "This is what I like." But that first time, she didn't want. She didn't want the sensual love making that he was providing her. He probably even cried. I wonder if he cried. Did he shed a tear, y'all? He shed a tear. He probably did. Not. I, I hope not. That he did. Right? He like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Together. <laughs> yeah. I I just hope. I just hope that that he got his and she got hers. She never said yeah. he was selfless. She never said he was just. She said it was just quick. So I just want to make sure because the way she would. And but this is the key though, and I want y'all to chime in on this. She said, "I've been in relationships where sex has been bad before." And otherwise, she's used to being in relationships or staying in relationships when sex wasn't the greatest. So, Tommy, you mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. All right, they don't communicate well. Um, they they have she's not attracted to them. The sex is not good. What's she staying for? She's not gonna stay. She's just waiting on decision day. Yeah. Um, something that I just thought about, man. If she did like, I didn't know or I didn't pay attention to the fact that she said that she's been in relationships where the sex wasn't good. Maybe she don't know what good sex is. Like she, maybe she doesn't understand what she likes or what she wants because that question probably has never been asked. And that's a, like, honestly, man, that's a, that's a good question. You know, when you're really trying to learn your spouse and your partner, you have to like, Hey, what do you like? What do you don't like? You know, most of the time, nobody has thought about that. It's one motion for us, you know. <laughs> and so it's like it's it's more so if you're thinking of your of your female of your wife. I'm trying to think of how to say it. But right. if you're thinking of your female of your wife, <laughs> you have to understand what she, you have to ask that question. You have to say, hey, what do you like? You, you know, as, you as know as and most of the time she can say what I don't like. You I know, think guy, you have to. I mean, even since high school. Oh, I'm tough. Bump it. I'm grown. I'm 40. So even since high school, I've always asked, what do you like? I think that's a, 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 that's what you have to that's what you have to do, because I first you don't want your name to be bad throughout the school. <laughs> you don't want your name to be bad throughout the play. I, I'm just telling you how guys think you don't want your name to be that dude where you trash. So you you're going to make sure that you take care, you handle business. So your name ain't trash. That's what I mean. That's the way that's the way it is, though. But you have to ask. Man, you better preach over there. <laughs> you, have, you, you, have, you have to ask. You got to make sure. Well, look, I don't want to get too deep, but like you said, I think Tommy I don't think that's the right term. No. Excuse the pun. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> but I think what Tommy, Tommy touched on, and you kind of alluding to it too, is... Um, not just Alexis, but just think about people, period. When you look at, you know, people's sexual experience and, you know, having a sex as a teenager, ain't nobody telling you what to do. You you finding out by watching, you know, watching videos, your little friends, is, you watching movies. And, you know, you got this grandiose idea of how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to do, you're supposed to do this. And, and you're not really the complete sexual experience like you're not doing that because you're a kid and sometimes people take that teenage mentality into adulthood and so maybe maybe she really she maybe she don't know because she she that all we do is you know i'm used to somebody making my head smack the headboard and that's all it is to her and he didn't do that you know what i mean so maybe can't compare. They need to have to go talk. She needs to go talk to Sasha instead of being so stuck up and uppity in the kitchen. She should have had a real conversation. Yeah, I guarantee you, Sasha could have been like, "So this, that, and the other." But she's ve she's very know it all. She's very know it all. Maybe that's what I wanted to say a little earlier. She's very know it all. She was not receptive to the things that people were saying. Mm -hmm. And I realize I I I, I um, understand that sometimes you have to. Talk to somebody that can educate you. If she's not one of those people that will do that, I don't even think she's gonna pick up a book and read and mm -hmm. know that, you know, because there are lots of books out here that'll tell you what you need to know and how to ask if you're unsure and 
this is you know what to look for are you it's a whole lot of stuff you know i know because i'm a coach i'll be talking to women about this stuff and be helping them out but my whole thing is she's not willing to receive the help so she's probably gonna always want somebody to um make the headboard and make her head hit the headboard is that what you said is that what you just called it yeah that's what she gonna want sometimes that's fun but not all the time like calm hello down. calm down <laughs> Right. <laughs> hey, I just, <laughs> uh, no, something that that I thought of uh, just popped up in my head was she she said no to vibrators, right? Yeah. Yes. And that tells you that she's sexually immature. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're you're not even open to a vibrator where every girl at that table was like, what? What do you mean? So she <laughs> you had know, three. like, huh? Kristen said she had three. I thought she, yeah, she had more than one. So it, it's it's like her being so closed off to vibrators is, is like even a, it, it's a telltale sign of where she is sexually because she not understanding the value of the orgasm. Mm. And see, we're going somewhere else with that, man. So I know like, that's why I said part the, the fun. <laughs> you're right, right. With the with the even yeah. even with the like, because understanding being married, I've been married six years, and within those six years, I've had to relearn how to have sex mm -hmm. with my spouse because it's changed from the first time we had sex to you know after two kids, it's changed. So it's it's like being able to be mature enough to say, hey, what are we doing here? You know, it even got to a point where I didn't want to have sex with her, you know? So even understanding that, it's like, okay, now we need to go somewhere else. Seeing with Alexis is not understanding her sexual maturity, mm -hmm. you know, in this whole situation. And Justin is, Justin is a P who's looking to grow, you know? And the only way he's going to grow is with, his wife directing him on the things that she liked because I like I said, men are one motion. Yeah. You know, and yeah, one one position may feel better than the other, but at the end of the day, as long as we finish, we're good. It's the woman that's never really satisfied in that in that area or thought about. So I'm done. <laughs> he's, and he's a people pleaser too, though. So I mean, I think that also goes into not just in his personal life, but it also goes into his bedroom. That he's a people pleaser. He wants people to like him. He wants every aspect of his life to be good, to be great. And when it's not, then he has an issue. That's why I tend to lean more to his side that it, that it, the story was the way that it was because he came off like it was great, you know, and because he wanted to make sure, you know, everything was taken care of. So uh, Alexis, again, <laughs> I think she, a lot of you guys said in chat, she might be gaslighting a lot of people, downplaying the situation, and it's not what she's used to. And because it's not what she used to, so it wasn't good in her mind. Um, well, she says she still cared for him, and I think she fl she flip flops. Absolutely, she she flip flops depends on who she's talking to. So we'll see there. But did you did y'all notice the look at Stasha's face when she said uh, when she said sex wasn't good? If I stay with somebody, if sex wasn't good, Stasha looked like what? And in her vignette, Stasha couldn't even talk because she's like, I ain't staying with nobody when the sex ain't good. <laughs> but that's a whole different podcast for a whole different story and different afternoon. So <laughs> any other thoughts on Alexis and Justin um, from this episode? I did want to say Justin is nosy because when Melinda, when Lindy and Miguel had their situation, if you look in the background, Justin was standing right there. He's hustling, ear hustling. <laughs> I think he, I think him and Alexis ear hustle on everything. Um, they, 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 that's why she won the award for the best gossip. Biggest gossip. The biggest yeah. gossip. Well, she's not really the biggest gossip. Justin is because he always tells her, but she gossip as well. So that's why I was gonna say real quick was that um, why is she the person that they go to to talk to? I wouldn't tell her anything. No, because she appears like she knows things. She doesn't know shit. She appears <laughs> like she knows things. Like, oh, you can come to me and talk to me. And you're right. She's not a gossiper. She's messy. Yes, she's the biggest messy. The messiest award or something, but you're right. Why do they go to her? They haven't seen it yet. Uh, Stasha and Nate have. I bet you they don't go to her. They don't tell her nothing. <laughs> nothing. I don't think Nate likes her. No thing. I don't think he does either. Nah, he's starting to show it too. In the vignette, he was like, nah. nah. Yeah, I don't think he liked neither one of them. Tell you the truth. 
Nah, they he really said, don't like Justin. Cause... Right, cause they both said that they messed up, and she tried to be funny. Or like, I'm the one who broke up Morgan and and Ben, like in her acceptance speech or whatever. Oh no, no, no! But she didn't call it specifically. She wasn't that bold. But Justin, I mean, she said I caused like, people to get divorced. I broke up for marriages, but she she wasn't bold enough to say it was Ben and Morgan. Well, see, we all know it was Ben and Morgan. But that's her immaturity. What would you be proud of that for, right? Why would yeah. you Why would you gloat about that? Why would you even joke about that? And why would you even still at this point bring up the comment about Mitch about Mitch about Mitch and um Kristen? Like, oh Mitch, are you attracted to your wife this week? You're start you try to start stuff. It's a peaceful weekend. You already see one couple having an issue. And you want to get another couple having an issue? Come on, man. That girl wild. That girl crazy. I mean, I ain't gonna call her crazy. Sorry, that girl wild. I don't wanna say crazy. I don't want these people mental stability. Last but not least. Y'all yeah, talked about Stasha and Nate already, didn't you? Go ahead, Tommy. Yeah, we did, but go ahead. Add your part. Add your part. No, I, was, I was just going to say, man, I think it's cool that she was like, I bought these vibrating panties and just put them out. I think those, I watch those like on TikTok and Instagram all the time, man. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm, I'm going to text Artika and see you. You you, <laughs> you, you pretended I'm going to text Artika. <laughs> We, 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 we talk when the plays over. When we, when, we, when, we hit, when we hit end broadcast, when we hit end broadcast, y'all don't y'all don't get to hear those conversations. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead, Tommy. Uh, uh, we did talk about Mitch and Kristen. If you want to hit up you know, anything on them before we go to Miguel and Lindy. Yeah, I didn't really have much. I think Kristen's rendition of Mitch. Was by far the funniest thing oh, on this yeah. TV show. Like, I was like, man, this is hilarious, <laughs> and she's like hitting it. And but you're supposed you you should be able to do that with your spouse. Like, I can't wait till my kids get older and they start imitating me because it's I know, hilarious. I know it's it hilarious. is. I know my kids it imitate is. me all the time. It's hilarious. They imitate I know you. it is, but. I also think uh, I don't think they're gonna make it. It's just I think Mitch is gonna be so bothered by what did she say? She was like she voted for herself to get multiple divorces, mm -hmm. and I think Mitch is gonna be bothered by that and never say anything until decision day. So mm. that was my take on that. All right. I'm gonna let you start with Miguel and Lindy. You know, your, your, take, your take on Miguel and Lindy. Man. <laughs> where do I begin? Man? <laughs> where where did this argument come from with her taking the, the picture? I was like, bro, just take the picture. Like I, I was, I was, what did I say in my notes? They have a prom for her. He, he was saying he didn't appreciate her tone. But I was like, you're gonna have to do that. Like you, that's one of those roles. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like when you get married to a person, you become their like in my case, a husband, a dad, a brother, a cousin, a friend, a photographer, a coach, a cheerleader. Like these roles that you, it's what you become, and no matter if you're tired. If you don't want to do it, just do it. It's not a big deal. You know what she was asking. We all know the, the camera on the front is terrible compared to the camera on the back. You know, so we all know that. So just do it like she want to and then like and then lay down. You come in, you come in the trip having a a, a bad week and you're bringing that energy over. You have to be able to cut it off. Like without with a drop of a hat, you have to be able to say, "Okay, I'm done with work or whatever is bothering me. I'm going to enjoy this retreat because that's nice. That's an awesome time. Y'all had a prom. Y'all got food. Y'all let this in in a group setting, trying to get your relationship better. And Miguel, every everything she did, Miguel had an issue with. So when she changed and was like, "Hey, Sammy, would you take this picture of me?" He gets pissy then. I was like, bro, like you have to give her something, you know, and knowing that she has an attitude that she's going to internalize what you're saying. And then you come back and she start crying. Then you come back and you want to 
oh, I'm sorry for making you cry. Well, stop. Don't say sorry if you're going to continue to do it. That's a that's a pointless apology. You could have saved that one, you know. Um, and then when they played uh, uh, dodgeball, I don't understand. Like, I get both their sides, but it's like, but y'all were playing against each other. I want to win. At the end of the day, I I want to win. I want you to do well, but I want to win. So what do you do? You can't get like I just feel like he he was she was his punching bag this weekend, and it was really unfair. When he noticed when they was on the carriage ride and he noticed that she wasn't paying attention, stop. Be in the moment with her. Stop trying to talk to her about poems that you wrote. Which was sweet, you know. You think you would, you know, you get out here on a carriage ride, you wrote a poem, and you know, it's sweet, it's a sweet gesture. But in the middle of you talking, she's seeing a squirrel, so her she's she's into what's going on out here. Get into that, that's simple, that's easy, and you don't even have to think about it. Be in the moment with her, and that's I just don't feel I don't see fault with Lindy this weekend. Now, I did say the fact that she has prompting him to say um that she her attitude can get worse probably made this this situation worse because he's looking for the worst you know he's looking for the eight nine and tens to see like what happens then but i think uh her being his uh punching bag this weekend is like that's gonna cause them to say no because he's looking for her out like I've been saying, like his eight weeks is almost up and he's like, how can everything's been going great? And then I have this attitude and I know I have this attitude and she I just don't like her. The sex is good because he he hadn't complained about sex. But now he's complaining about her attitude and everything that she does and she's trying to pivot, you know, whichever way that she can with him. So it's um. He just put her in an unfair fight that she couldn't win. So, can I say this real quick? Because I said the same thing, Tommy. That I know you was tired, Miguel, but she's excited. She's in the moment. She's amped. Get up and take the picture, and then lay back down. Like, come on, husband. He was up though. He he was he was up. He was taking a picture. If you go back to what you said, he was up. He just didn't take it the way that she wanted him to take it because he was getting he was taking the picture. She just didn't want don't do it in selfie mode. Don't do it. He didn't like the fact that she was bossing him around. So he did the husband thing. He got up. It was just that her communication to him was like But that's what I'm saying. Even I mean, she did not say it the nicest, but again, just chalk it up to she just, you know, I mean, gosh. I just, it makes me mad that he's not getting it yet. Yeah, go ahead. Why was he taking that picture in selfie mode? Why was he taking a picture of her in selfie mode? That's stupid. <laughs> right, right. Well, maybe he didn't get to that part yet. I, I, I watched it a couple of times trying to figure out, I was like you, Tommy. I wanted to figure out why did this blow up? Why did the argument get to where it was like just. But that's what I'm trying to say. So I know, again. We're six weeks in. You're not going to know everything about somebody, but I think he knows enough about her that he shouldn't. Like, she was in the moment. She gets all amped. She gets all, you know, like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we all, come on. I think we talked about this before. So you can't take stuff all the time personal when it coming from your spouse, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you excuse the bad behavior. But you be like, oh, I know when he, she say it like that. It's just the moment, you know, they're amped in the moment. Like, I'm not taking it personal. He came in there with a bad attitude. He was exhausted, irritated. And you got to really, we on, we in this house at the top of a mountain. Got dog it. A beautiful edifice. Like, dude, put that to the side. Put that to the side. Uh, I think I think I think it was much more than this. I think I said on a video that I did. It was a I think a lot of this was that he didn't get the kudos that he thought he should have got for what he did for what he's doing for mm -hmm. her. And so he feels some type of way already. 
and he's already frustrated. He's irritated. And so he's like the point, like, you know what? You don't talk. And, and that's not to mention, we all knew he was controlling from the first episode. He just been hiding it. He just been hiding his controlling behavior and manipulative behavior because he controlled, he manipulated that girl to give him sex, to give him the sex. And, and so, and so he, he controlled this. I think he was like at the point where, you know what? And I agree with you, Todd. He should have just did it. I would have took the picture. I would have had no complaints. Got up, took the picture. Hey, do you mind? You good? You straight? We good? All right. And lay back down. You know, you make sure she's taken care of because she's dressed and you do what you need to do. And then you ease back down. But y'all can't tell me. I'm just, I know there's a lot of women in this chat. She could have asked a little bit nicer. Yo, it's my turn. That's enough, Glenn. I'm tired. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was waiting. I was waiting. And Jack was like, Talisa, gonna get you. I'm always hey, that was Glenn, I was going to say you on your own on that one, buddy. <laughs> hey, no, I, know, I, know I love you, though. That was, said, that was said with the most most amount of love possible and the same way kind of the same energy that i feel like lindy had when she was talking to miguel right okay so we're gonna back up yes he said he planned it i even had, i was like oh my god that's so sweet i was excited about that she was excited about the way she looked in a dress that he went and got that she saw that she liked and that it was planned and oh my god it's a perfect it's beautiful take my picture take my picture he, whatever he said, and it wasn't, I don't feel like she had a tone. I feel like she was whiny. Well, take my picture, come on, take my picture. Like, like her 27-year-old self shows up. Her, her, I want to be on social media. I want you to, everybody to see all these things. Just so happened to show up and he went left. That whole thing that he's been talking about, um, what did he say? Uh He's been waiting. He doesn't know what to expect with her or what she's going to say or how she's going to. I'm waiting on the the part like she's been subduing it. He just showed us that he a whole ass like negative, ne negative Nathan, his own self. You know what I mean? Like you telling me that your week was so bad because you seem fine when you left the house. But your week was so bad that you couldn't breathe for just a moment and live in her excitement. So when you say, Glenn, she didn't give him the accolades. And he wasn't reading the room, okay? As he kept saying, you know, he wasn't reading the room. She was excited. It was, I saw it off the screen. Mm -hmm. What you gonna say, Glenn? You got something. Well, you yeah, <laughs> no, I, I agree with you, but I'm, I'm coming from his perspective. He he was in his feelings, and because he didn't expect to get, he didn't get that, his feelings when she said it or when she said she was joking is really what took him off. He had his mindset that I'm gonna, she can give me accolades, she can give me this. I'm not saying he was right. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not, I'm not taking Miguel's side. But I I'm think, just I'm using the backdrop by why he went off because he didn't get what he. You know, you 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 do something for somebody and you expect a certain thing or you have visualized in your mind they're gonna act this way and gonna act that way. I think Miguel had in his mind, well, when I do this, she's gonna do this, 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 and this. I don't expect her to be whiny again like a child. I don't expect her to say when I ask her, "Oh, you was joking," because that's really what set him off when she said, "Oh, I was joking." No, you really wasn't joking. You was whining, like Talisa said, and you really wanted me to get up and do it now. And so he I like, did. I look pretty, and I did. And, and, and I was annoyed that you don't understand my excitement. Let's keep it a band because I'm yes. like, that's exactly what it was. You don't <laughs> understand my excitement. You talking about you laying down? Is you mad because I'm not saying take a picture with me? Like, what's the deal? Take my picture. Like Tommy said, it is now your responsibility as really? my husband. Excuse me, get your ass up, come take this picture. See, now that's what it what it should have set you off. Okay. <laughs> now I know no whiny tone. That would have set you off because I would have been like, what's the problem? Come take my photo. You can you can stay here and lay down. I'm gonna go to the prom. Because maybe he did need a nap. You know, we be we be having bad energy, we be needing a nap. Now here you come with your church finger, Tommy. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this before I forget it. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's her party. And she can cry if she wants. Hello. <laughs> like that's a, that's the that was the whole premise of like that's the thing yeah. is like you I don't I don't know like the day before I got married my wife went off on me I was drunk and hungover and everything else but I knew I better do everything she asked me to do otherwise yeah. I'm gonna have a bad day. Correct. So. In that same instance, 
it's her they, they're having a prom for her mm -hmm. specifically because she didn't get a chance to do this he planned it why wouldn't he be like why would you want a picture here you go you now want me to rub your feet here you go i'm gonna put Absolutely. your shoes on you need Absolutely. some help with this dress whatever you need why wouldn't he be like that because he, he's point. selfish because he's, he's selfish. very selfish he's very right. selfish and so because he's selfish in this aspect of it was why he got mad at her over something simple and that's my point he got mad because he was already in his feelings prior to the conversation yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with her, poor little Lindy. And it's then right. it, and it just her. kept going and going. And I'm all like, so now we at the party and you going to bring it back up? Girl, that was, that right there. You. That right there. I said that. Yes. What you not going to do? What? I said what Miguel should have said was, like my husband said, he probably the type of person, it's on my mind. Let me get it out. Let me talk about it now. I but again, you need to read the room. Like you and Tommy said, the whole prom thing was set up for me mitch even said it you know i would vote for my wife as the prom queen but obviously lindy is it's for her so lindy is the prom queen and so at this dude you really don't have room to be irritable you don't have room to have no attitude because you set this up for me you made this nice weekend for me so what i need you to do is is uh, put on a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, take, take and let's have, a, let's have a good old time. <laughs> I need you to shit for real, cause you can't tell me that. Like Glenn can't tell me I set this whole nice thing up for you, and then you exhaust it. Then you don't feel like doing it. That's not no fun to me. If you set it up for me, I want us to be in it together. Show me that you're excited about having done this for me. You know what I'm saying? And then everything after that. Like, you know, once you get snappy, you just like, bruh, just, okay, you want to say your poem again. Like you said, this is a, we, we, this whole weekend, now we into teenage Lindy. Lindy, she hasn't been on a carriage ride. So I'm looking, oh, this is pretty. Ooh, exciting. Ooh, yeah. You know, that's how she is yeah. again. Yeah. Take your wife's personality into account. You you read the room, Miguel, you big dummy. It shows that he has but it shows that he hasn't learned anything in their marriage, though. And that's the point I want to get to. It shows he hasn't learned anything. As Tommy said, sometimes you just gotta take one for the team. You take I, you put your feelings down. I um uh my girl Sharon F is in here asking, what does Lindy do for him? Actually, Lindy is subduing herself a whole lot she's really taking in consideration and if we don't see her actually like doing things is because as we know miguel is controlling he wants to be in control so he wants to cook he probably tells her when you wash the dishes wash them like this and then put them in the dishwater dishwasher so they can be washed again it's no tell how you clean the bathroom you start from here okay don't start at the toilet do the toilet last like he probably tells her exactly what he wants and i feel like we don't see it because we they're just showing us the good parts of them um and i agree with y'all like especially you jackie listen no 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 know your partner's personality that girl sees a squirrel all the time oh it's a squirrel oh it's a, oh my god look at that squirrel she don't want to hear your whack-ass poems right now she wants to sit in this uh carriage ride and enjoy the scenery and listen to the click clack of the horses and oh my god that's so pretty and did you see that over there like that when i go on um have experiences like those that's what you're taking in i'm not sitting here listening to you telling me no two three poems in a row what was it two back to back and then you tell me some you need to set it to music well then set it to music and tell it to me later and then you told me one that you heard already because you talked about uh, it, could bring, it, it could, whatever it, it, it carries. I don't know whoever it was. And she asked, who is this? So you then told her a poem and then told her already. Listen, sit down. Sit down, be quiet. Close your eyes because you're tired and you got an attitude. Let her be like, oh my God, oh my God, quit making that girl cry. And I mean, when she's, because she's not just like crying like a little tear. She's like <laughs> crying. Quit doing that because regardless of what anybody says i think that she's putting in effort i think that she is actually trying because she doesn't want to get married her faith i mean divorce her faith is saying that that's not a thing that you do so she is really like putting her best foot forward like 
I'm trying to understand you. I'm really working on it. And you're not seeing that. I'm so confused. And maybe I didn't articulate myself right the first time, but I am now. Like, sit down, Miguel. Sit down. You already said that you got a little Joey and she is enjoying your little Joey. So sit down. Sit, sit down. She is dealing with your madness, your controlling behavior, and on top of that, because she's not really experienced, so she's all like, you know what, this is good to me. Not every woman is going to say that. Yeah. You said it with the, the dog is already a Rodriguez. I don't know whatever the man's last name is. And that was enough for me. Okay? You don't even stick with Lindy. Yo, he could have done that so many different ways. I totally agree. I totally agree with you. I, I think I mentioned in our review, he could have waited till the carriage ride had stopped, held her hand, and said, you know what, or stopped at a moment when she saw like where there was no squirrels and told the carriage driver to stop, hold her hand, and look in her eyes and read the whack poem. It could have been so many different ways, and but he was in his feelings at that point. Are you not paying attention to me? Dog, you knew your, you know, your, she, we, we all drove up there. When she drove up there, she probably looked at every tree like, y'all see that? Oh man, this look beautiful. That looked nice. You see the sunset over there? That's what I'm saying. I mean, he, he you know, I she, got a little AD, adult ADHD. That's what I'm, that's what I see. I ain't no, 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 no therapist, no psychologist, no psychiatrist. There it is. I'm not no psychiatrist, but to me, it looks like she might be managing that on her own. I mean, mm -hmm. I got a little bit of it in my own self because I'd be like, oh, look at the squirrel. Now, what'd you say? He would hate me. I'd be all <laughs> over the place. That's probably why she needed, that's why she probably needed health insurance so bad. Right. <laughs> to, get right. To, to get her medication. But I think I said the same thing. I feel like she, pro she probably do have some uh, adult ADD, ADHD. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> he didn't really read the moment. I mean, again, back to this point, he didn't read the moment because it was about her. Yeah. Let it be about her and your feelings. There's times in relationships as husbands or even as wives, you got to put your feelings aside for the other person. For the, and for the, the other person. For the relationship all together. For the relationship as all together. You, you got to ask yourself in this marriage thing, is this a good time? <laughs> we talked about sex, right? We talked about sex, how you got to communicate with your spouse. You need to talk to your spouse. But, hey, when do you want me to bring things up to you? Do you rather have them when it happens? Do Should I wait? Should be a conversation, you know, and you should know what things to bring up immediately, what arguments to bring back up, which ones just to leave alone and tuck away, put in your wallet. Because you leave, if the day goes by, you may not want to revisit that one if the day's gone. And I know some of the things that you learn by being married for a while. You learn about this. And at the middle of a party where everybody's looking at you, you going to bring this up? No. Nope. Not in the middle of a party. Just kept bringing it up and just kept bringing it up and just kept... You beating the dead horse. She and she apologized a million times, and I was just like, "Please stop saying I'm sorry," because I f n f like that's what I was singing in my head. If y'all know that song, that's what I was yes. like. Because what are we doing? Quit saying I'm sorry, girl. You not just let it go. You said it. You said your part. Let him talk and do like do like you normally do and just ignore it. Like what what is we doing? I'm gonna tell you one that really set me off with Miguel was doing the vol uh dodgeball game. Are oh, you not supporting you're not supporting me? Oh my gosh. Didn't Tommy touch on that? Like, bruh, you ain't on my team. Yeah. I want Nate to knock your head off with the ball. We're on the same team, Daddy. It I'm might really be a little bit if I'm mad, but I want him to knock the ball. I, it might be a little Listen. bit, but sir. Listen, I'll bandage you later. I'll give you an ice pack. But right now, we are on two different teams. So I'm rooting for my team. I root for you later. Mm -mm. Did you see when she was crying at the sitting at the bench? How Nate was like, "I'm what is this? this is I'm over this." See, his whole face was like, "This is dumb." He <laughs> said, I wasn't even really paying attention. <laughs> I was like, why, why are we sitting here talking about this? <laughs> Yo, Nate looked like, "Why is she crying?" <laughs> <laughs> Right, Nate was like he was done. He was like, "Yo, Nate looked like he was like, let's go back to this house so we get something to eat." Because Nate, right. <laughs> Nate was like, "It was it's a game, it's a game. We playing a adult dodgeball. It's a game." But he doesn't know how to. I, he doesn't know how to. Miguel didn't know how to let go and have fun, man. It was it was intended to have a fun weekend. Let go and have fun. But he talks about Lindy, and he don't realize he's doing the same thing. It was just a whole. It was an avalanche. It was an avalanche. Again, you know, you know, you know when you're in a bad mood, every freaking thing sets you off. And so that's where he was. He was just in that space. 
She and breathing. He can't. Br he cannot blame her for that. Because you remember when he talked to Pastor Cal, he said, when she gets negative, you know, it makes me be negative. And it, bro, you brought this whole thing all by yourself. This was you all by yourself. You could tell it was him by himself because when she asked Sammy, he got mad. I want to ask, if you want to rest, go ahead and rest. All right? If you want to relax, go ahead and relax. If you want to do this, go ahead and do this. It's just not anything else. It's, it's on you, dog. It's on you, not anybody else. Like I said, and um, I let somebody else chime in. I told my husband, I said, I get it when she was like, well, shoot, I just can't do nothing right. Because he was like, just because I didn't take it then doesn't mean I'm not going to take it all the time. But how do I know that? How do I know? So I'm going to take the path of least resistance. I'm not even going to bother you. I ain't going to bother you. Absolutely. Let me ask somebody else. Oh, God, dog, I can't ask nobody else. Mm -hmm. what, what, do, what more do you want from me? And then that whole, I can I get a hug? And he said, no. He said, Ooh. no. I said, yeah. I know you fucking lying. Excuse That's me. Oh, I would have mushed, mushed him in his head. <laughs> like, I know, I know. I, don't, I, don't I know you lying. Hold on. For clarification, I don't get much. I just want to let y'all know. But you don't never not give me a hug. I, I think that she I would mush you, though. I'm going to just tell you. I think she would mush you. Try it. See, next time, if try it when she asks you for a hug or a kiss or something. <laughs> Just don't watch away and let's see if she mush you. Come back and yeah. tell her. Don't try that. <laughs> <laughs> don't try that. Don't no. listen to Talisa. Don't listen to Talisa. <laughs> she and Lexi's right now. She ain't hella messy. Look, we don't have a Jack and Glenn review that week. Y'all understand? Right? <laughs> Hold on. Jack and Glenn supposed to come on this week. <laughs> she must have mushed Glenn. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> And it would just be me doing a review. Right? Oh man. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. <laughs> <sighs> that oh, is a point though. Like, how is it that he could actually say no to a no. hug? Like, what type of person or you have to be to be like, no, I don't want to give you a hug to your spouse. To your spouse. Like I can I can understand you saying no to a stranger, not give you that's your spouse. You spent the last six, seven weeks with this woman and she asked for a hug for a date that you wasn't they still on the, the prom date? No, they were ready to go to dinner. Yeah. For they that. Like, yeah. come on, man. I don't care how mad you are. A hug, a hug can change your life. It you sure know? will. I do it to Kingston all the time. I touch him and say, How's your heart? And he just be looking at me, and I say, "Give me a hug," and then instantly, whatever right. whatever it is, I see is gone. Cause I read somewhere that each person needs about twelve hugs a day. Think about that. Yeah. About twelve yeah. hugs a day. So get to hugging. Man, I don't know. I, I just I was really disappointed with Miguel, and I don't understand not having that conversation before getting to the uh, retreat. Mm -hmm. Have the conversation of. I had a rough week, but I'm trying. I'm going to try, you know, and put that, I don't want to say pressure, but put the responsibility of the relationship on her. Let that fall on her back because she understands and she knows, hey, he had a trying week this week, so let me be lighter on him, you mm -hmm. know? Because those are real conversations that I have with my wife. We're like, yo, I'm having a hard time here at work. Boom, boom, boom. And she'll step in and do some of the other things. Same for me. I know she's not feeling well or she's having a hard week. I got it. Don't worry about it. You know, it's just conversations that you have. And I, I feel like if they have that conversation of I had a hard week, low energy, boom, 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 before they get there, we have a different conversation about them today. You know what? Uh, Artika is really pouring into you. You sound just like her right now. Do her. <laughs> yeah, you sound real wise right now. How, how do you like, know it's not the other way around? Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> <'Cause> I know. <laughs> this is what I was going to say about the hug, though. Um, I, I know it's times when you you mad at your spouse. You know, you're not feeling it. And they want to give you a hug. He could have very easily gave the, you know, you get a the little one arm, the little one arm, or the little, you know, that give her something, but just to be like, no, don't touch yeah, me. And put his hand, I think he put his hand up too, he didn't did. he? Like, did. don't touch me. No, just, booty ass. Oh my gosh. That was just terrible. 
That's all I had um, to say. Yeah, he can they bounce back from this? Nah. Why would you want to? <laughs> he's, he's looking for her 10. Mm. He knows that she can get worse as far as like her attitude. So everything she does, he's gonna be on uh on pins and needles because he's gonna <laughs> think, oh, this is it. This is it, mm -hmm. you know. He's you know, waiting for I disaster like to happen. He showed a little bit of the ten, like mm -hmm. in that moment when she laughed at him and said, "You gonna make me crazy." You for the oh me crazy. man, I thought she was finna. I thought she was finna go. Yeah, I thought she was finna go. I was like, "Do it, do I dare you?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought she was gonna go. I thought we were gonna see a Hurricane Kate situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think it. Both of them are at like, you know, um, probably I think that they have both been, I don't want to say pretending, but for the last six weeks, putting on their base best face the entire time, trying to be what the other person wants. And somebody said it in the in the comments. It was uh it's the breaking point, it's the boiling mm -hmm. point. Now I've been doing this and been dealing with, you know whatever you feel like is an issue on your end for them or you know what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. um and now here it is it the, the pot it, the, the the pot is whistling the teapot is whistling mm -hmm. and now it's about to blow so i don't know they should say no but they probably well lindy not gonna say no no, no lindy's gonna say yeah miguel <laughs> gonna say no uh, just off of this blow up because nah, it's, 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 out since the beginning I, I know i'm playing the devil it's not, i know it's not just this blow up but in her mind, or in his mind, I'm gonna say her mind, <clears throat> is is this blow up? Can they? Is there any repairing this? Because like you said, she doesn't want to get divorced. Talisa said it earlier. Her her religion and what she believes in don't want to get her divorced. So that means it's gonna have to be Miguel. But I I can see Miguel because he's controlling and manipulative. And he may not get anybody else like Lindy. So do he stay because he can control her and and, and kind of move her? And I don't know how much he's gonna be able to control her much longer, though. Like, I don't think it's gonna be right now. She's just trying to learn him and really want to work with him. But I don't think that's gonna last mm -hmm. much longer. I think if they do both say yes, by the time we get to the reunion, mm -hmm. he's gonna say, "I seen what she was saying. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it." <laughs> I I agree, Talisa. I think um, uh, Lindy is like a, a milder Mitch. Mm -hmm. You know, when when it comes to that control, because. She remember, look at her upbringing. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do this. And so she's in that space where, you know, I'm independent. After a while, I was going to be like, now look, that was fine for them eight weeks. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Mm -mm, that ain't going to fly. Like he told her, that's not going to fly. You don't treat me like that. I think, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. know. I'm, I'm still on. I think they can recover. I think they will bounce back just because of her, and she would do everything he she he asked her to do, just so they can save the marriage, so she can save it. And I think I don't think he's leaving because he likes to control. I, I, I think he's I've been, wrong. I've, been, I've been wrong with many couples, but I just I've been wrong too. Listen, we all be wrong. They be like, "Oh, that we didn't see that coming." <laughs> right, right. right. Let, me, let, me see that. let me see that. We ain't see that one coming. Like. Oh, you be yelling at the TV like, what? Y'all stay yeah, together? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I know I did with Beth and Jamie. Like, y'all did what? Like, y'all did what? I did with Mark and uh, that other girl. Oh, uh, Lindy? Yeah, Lindsay, yeah. yeah Lindsay. Lindsay. Lindsay, yeah. Like, why? Why? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I think Miguel's out of there, though. I think Miguel has just been, he talked about the eight weeks, and he was like, I'm done after eight weeks because this is his MO. Like he dates for a little while and then leaves. You know, he's the one that usually breaks up with the person. So it's like, what makes this different? They got married, but they are asked to make a decision. They are asked to break up, essentially, you know. So mm -hmm. he got what he wanted. You made a good point, Tommy, when you That's said good. looking for that 10. Early. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and she's not a 10 because of her the 10 blow up, so he's mm -hmm. looking yeah. for perfection, right. but he's also looking for the 10 as in the blow up. So, the all of it, he out of there. I might, he might, he you, you right, yeah, yeah, 
Right. So, I mean, if we just based off this past episode, we only got one couple going strong. <laughs> Stasha and Nate. Stasha and Nate. Yeah. Yep, that's it. And we might need to be quiet till next week. Ain't no telling. Next week, it might be we back to he don't love me. He right. Says, right. <laughs> right. Gotta, next week, you may be back to he wait and see. You gotta wait. You gotta wait and see. He don't <laughs> love me. He, right. he, he ain't say it. He right. left the vibrator thing on the pan, vibrating panties on too long, so he don't love me. He wasn't <laughs> thinking about me and my needs. He didn't learn how to do the direction. Ain't no telling with these people. <laughs> <laughs> Everything be flip flopping. Everything, everything be flip flopping, but we enjoy talking about it, man. You guys, any closing thoughts from the guys in the uh, in the chat? Any closing thoughts uh, to Lisa, Tommy? Any closing thoughts that you have on these these crazy couple? Where's the, where's the experts at? You know, I think this season we saw less and less of the experts. Less and less of the experts. Yeah, um, I think the experts actually should come to the retreat mm. and do oh, some type nice. of be nice. some type of thing with them and you know that'll be an opportunity they could bring their spouse you know um don't give away they want their them. spouses to be involved in any type of way but i mean experts coming out there and actually having an activity that they moderate you know for them to do or something like that will probably benefit the couples a little bit more um i am curious to see what Nate and Sasha because because we're like they're the top couple, but it's still we know that they have issues and sexually they match each other, mm-hmm. but where else do they match each other? Mm-hmm. You know, like are they friends with each other? Do they hang out with each other? Are they able to tell each other no, you know, when it's necessary or other things? And so those those are some of the things that um would be interesting to see. And and their success or whatnot. So, um, like always, follow, subscribe, um, like this video, um, comment, you know, and all those good things. Yeah. All I got to say is, all right, listen, you listen. I just want to say for anybody that don't think or don't know, I act these two are like brothers to me. I'm just clowning. I love them like family. I mean no harm. Okay, it's all in love. So don't be mad at me or asking their wives, why you let Talisa talk like that? Because, okay? We're family. We're family. We are real family. Y'all don't understand it, but we are. And I just want to say, just make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Listen, I know I have not been on my channel if you watch me, but you should come join me on TikTok and on Instagram because I am doing uh, 30 Days Fall Into Change where we change something about who we are that we are not the most fond of for the next 30 days. So I am posting continuously there. One day I'm coming back on YouTube. I ain't even did no Ready to Love. I ain't did nothing. But one day I'll be back. Let me get my life together. That's part of the 30 days is me getting my life together. So. Make sure y'all subscribe, and I got other stuff y'all can watch, though. Lots of stuff. Years worth of stuff. Good stuff. So go on over there and just watch it anyway. And then, I don't have a membership, but August Love Story and Jack and Glenn do, so definitely subscribe to those. Uh, appreciate it, Talisa. We, we love you. That's my that's my big sis. You know, we all, you don't always agree. Am I older than you? you? Look at me. Um, we have to think about it. Let me we talk about it. They don't need to know how old you are. Yeah, we, 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 we talk. We talk about it. We talk about it. Uh, like, like Artika said, this would have been a uh, great episode for Doctor Pia. It would have yeah. been. It would have been a great episode for Doctor Pia. Tommy, that's a great idea though, because if they bring their spouses, because we've never seen really the spouses of um, the experts. Yeah. But I've been listening. I've been listening to audio book uh, Doctor um, Pastor Cal's book. And he talks about him and his spouse. They got a good little story. It will be good for some of the couples to hear and see the spouses of the other people. That's a good idea. So if you, if you see that next season, Tommy, I want you to go get that check because they stole it from Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they, mean they, stole, they stole it from you. So go get that. I'm, I'm going to be writing them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, once again, make sure you hit everybody's uh, uh, subscribe button, everybody's bell notification. Also go to talisaray.com and get her journal as well. They're still flying off the shelves like hot cake. So make sure, make a great eight. Hey, it's early, it's October. People start doing Christmas stuff already. I started in the store. So go ahead and get that stuff for people uh, already. So talisaray.com, make sure you do that. Uh, hit the like button while you're at it. Um, and once again, thank y'all for joining us. 
and have a great night. And we'll see you uh, next week. Bye. Bye, y'all.